Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time, we met up with Milliam and Lecter. So yeah, now we get to show Milliam around leaves and the uh, school grounds. But it's also evening, so we have side quests to do. Of course. Man, what's so bad about student council? You act like it's like a punishment or something. I mean, Reen did it all year. Well, two years really. And he got through just fine. Yeah, Reen's actually uh, going around helping everybody not get on the student council. I feel like the student council aren't, isn't going to have any helpers. And then Reen's going to probably ha have to help them out. I can see it coming. I've got... I've no got a Scooby? I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you're into trains and railways. So you want to start a railway club, but you couldn't find anybody else to join. Oh, and the principal probably said, Hell no. A boring guy. Wow. Um, okay, so what's wrong with a railroad club? Doesn't sound boring to me. Oh, yeah, I guess she has a point. You know, you want to shore up your weaknesses and all that. Kind of like what uh, Altina's doing. Oh, yeah, the cooking club. That's right. Uh, that is a fringe benefit. Oh, yeah. Well, that's fine. Yeah, there must be something. Oh, you don't like any of them. Hmm. Okay, that's an odd segue, Milliam, but sure, whatever. Oh, we just put on a rock concert. It's pretty cool. Uh, what? Oh, so you like that? Hey, awesome. So you're gonna start a music club, I guess? Um, okay, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No, not particularly. Oh, that's true. At my high school, we had a band and an orchestra. I was not a part of band or orchestra, so I don't really know if band was more rock band and orchestra, you know, was... An orchestra. Beats the hell out of me. They pretty much always perform together, though. So to me, they just seem like the same thing. I don't know. Maybe somebody in the comments who was in band or orchestra could kind of fill me in on the difference between the two. And there must be somebody else who doesn't have a, uh, a club, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've talked to you long enough now, about four minutes now. Man, this kid just goes on. Okay, so you're gonna ask around the dorm and we'll check the town. Let's go, 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 go! So, off to the town we go. Let's go to the station square and see if we can't find anyone. Oh, well, looky here. It's the Ice Queen herself, Valerie. Oh, she's sad. Yeah, I know that last time we spoke, you said you never wanted to speak to me again, and you were a stone-cold bitch to me, but hey, we're gonna help you out. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Well, it's better than student council, I guess. Yeah, you don't have to. No one's begging you to do it. Then what is it like? You don't want to accept help from Reen because you hate him for some strange reason? Well, you know what? She's from North Ambria, isn't she? That's why she hates Reen. Kind of the same reason why Yuna hates uh, Reen as well. The Northern Rock. I'm a fairy in North Ambria and Uri. 
Oh, okay, I was thinking it was like a landmark, but it's a subgenre of rock music. Okay, got you. Yeah, he's referring to Crow right then. He would have known being from Uri. Oh, you can uh, play the guitar. Hey, hey, so can Rain. I suppose so. Okay. I wonder who Pablo found. Oh, this really nice kid who look, reminds me a lot of uh, George. Something tells me that Gustav and Pablo are going to get along really, really well. And then they're going to be like, why did you bring Valerie with us to join our club? She's evil. <laughs> oh, so all of them are from the uh, northern regions of uh, Erebonia. <laughs> You're good with your hands. <laughs> okay, I need to get my mind out of the gutter. I'm going to stop. Yeah, it's either this or the student council. Bitchola, figure it out. Okay. Well. And knowing Reen, he will help out at a moment's notice. Of course. Oh, thanks, lords. Okay, perfect. So we finished that up. Let's now go back here to the dorm. <clears throat> it's nighttime now, and we have Milliam with us. So you know what time it is. It's time to go to the bathroom! Yeah, I just gotta go take a dump or something, you know? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Oh, I would love to have Lecter join us in the bath. Oh man, I would like die a million deaths. Ugh, it'd be so much better than having Milliam join. Oh well, can't always get what you want. It just looks so lonely just sitting here by yourself. Like, I really liked it better in Ymir, where it was more natural, the rocks were out there, the snow was falling, you know, everybody was right there, you know, they all talk to each other, but here with the being separate, oh, that's right, those sheeps. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. They were in the uh, bath and then there was creepy sheeps creeping on them. Oh. Oh, really? There's a spa with, uh, and Heimdall with Claire. Huh. Oh. I don't recall a bath at Eustace's mansion, but then again, it's been a long time since I've been poking around Eustace's mansion, so who knows. Tilly, translation, Altina. That's her little nickname for her sister, Altina. Wow, you have some big dreams, Milliam, don't you? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay. And for doing that, we get more academy points. So, it's kind of good. Ooh, I want a little bit more of a bonding level two. Not much, but hey, it's there. Um, you know what? We need to go to the radio station. It's not on our warp point, which kind of sucks, but I guess it's close to the riverside, so we can go there. Uh, yeah, there's a little sub-event over here at Radio Trista. Let's see, you gotta talk to Monk. Yep. It certainly has. Last time we saw you, you were flying on the, uh, Courageous. Well, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, to a battleground, actually. Yep. 
But then again, the entire branch campus is just about the size of the former Class 7, to be quite honest with you. It's like, what, 20 kids? And Class 7 was a grand total of, I think, 11, including Crow? I don't know. I can't think of them all right now. I'm busy. Oh, you want to interview Reen? Uh, he is a celebrity. Oh. I guess so. It's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go do special undercover operations with the Intelligence Division. Then I'm gonna call Monk so he can broadcast it all over the radio. Sounds like a great plan. Okay. Next stop, the clubhouse. So only certain people, if you've noticed, nobody else had this little symbol above their head to play um, Vantage Masters, but Sydney does. So yeah, we've got to talk to him so that we can play Vantage Masters with him. And you do want to play Vantage Masters with as many people as you can to get as many different cards as you can. And again, I'll be doing it off screen. Really? I would think that Sydney would be pretty popular with the ladies as well. I mean, he's pretty cute. I think, he, personally, I think he's cuter than, uh, Kurt. That's just me, though. I think he's super cute. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so he's kind of a stalker. That's lovely. Okay. Sweet! So again, you just hit R2 in order to challenge him. I'm gonna do that and be right back. Well, I took him out easily enough, so now the last thing that we need to do is go to the bakery and talk to Altina in order to move the story along. Oh, she's eating pancakes! Pancakes for dinner? Eh, I don't judge. I eat breakfast for dinner all the time. Yeah, the uh, swimming club. Oh, I guess so, but they will. <laughs> Looks like Altina finally noticed who's hidden back there. <laughs> There's no love lost between these two, I guess. They're just so different. They're night and day. The way that uh, Altina is kind of robotic and Milliam's just so out there. It's Altina, it's not that difficult, Milliam. <laughs> oh, you don't like Sammy? What's wrong with that? Oh, what's going on now? Oh, I think I know exactly who this is. Yeah. Oh, why? Well, what's there? Yeah, we kind of have stuff to do. I'm a teacher. Don't boss me around. Seriously? Get somebody else to do this. I'm a teacher. Come on now. Get one of the kids to do it. What exactly does he want from me? Oh, we've already been there. Really? You want to see him? Um, okay. That's different. I wouldn't imagine anybody would want to see him. Oh, you're gonna come along too? Oh, it could, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, that's true. Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Except it's a quintet, because Rain is along, too. Don't forget. Okay. But I've done everything, so I am ready to uh, 
proceed with the main story. I've already done the bonding events, I've already talked to everybody for NBC dialogue, I've done everything that I need to do, so... Hey, Altina. Sorry to interrupt your pancakes, but gotta get on down to Ein Hell Keep. Well, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Let's make old man Schmidt wait. He's, he's such a bitch to us. We should ask Kurt and Yuna to come with us, but I guess not. I wonder what he wants. It's so unusual. Hey, Tita. Always good to see you. Oh, that's right, I get- <laughs> Oh my god, poor Milliam. Oh, yikes! Why are you testing Reen? Reen's already been tested enough. Like, he brought the Civil War to an end. What more do you want to test from him? Uh, yeah, something tells me this keep is going to act like the old schoolhouse of the game. I hope it's not randomly generated. That would really suck. Yeah. But shouldn't it be the entirety of the class, not just us three? Really, fighting a magic knight wasn't uh, the rigors of combat? Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Now we have Milium on our side. We'll be fine. Oh. I thought you said it was mandatory. You told us to hurry on over here. Really? Seriously? I don't really care if you work here or not, Schmidt. Go on back to home to Ruer. Leave me out of this. No kidding. I guess so. Yeah. Better safe than sorry, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Altina's like, no, sorry. I mean, at least Altina's reliable. She's straightforward. Reem doesn't look exactly confident right now. He's kind of giving some side eye. He's like, do I really have to have these two with me? <laughs> okay. I don't think I need anything from Tita. Yes! Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, I, it's still so early in the game and I really have like no Zepeth whatsoever. Thanks. So I probably need to end up going through this place just to get more items and whatnot. Okay, yeah. Schmidt's having none of me lollygagging around, so let's do this. Yeah, it's kind of exactly like that, Milliam. Oh, poor Altina, she's like happy and emotion. I feel bad for her that she's unable to feel emotions, even though they are sisters, and they were both developed at the same time in the Black Workshop. It's like, one got all the emotion, and the other one got none of it. Like if they were built in the same test tube or something, and then, you know, one just got all of that one and none of the other, you know? It's just odd, it's just unusual. Yeah, that's right, we were underground last time, so I guess we're above ground this time. Oh, 
Huh. I see locking mechanisms and whatnot. Ladders, always fun. If you say so. Okay, of course, get to the furthest point. Yeah, we can't use Valimar either, that's fine. Oh, thanks, Tita. At least someone's on our side. And we have the combat shells. We are unstoppable in here. Okay. Tally ho! Orders? Oh, yeah. Well, right now only Reen has the orders. Oh, okay. I'll have to check those out in the next battle. White decoration. Avon keep, okay. Gale. Yeah, you had Gale since the first game, and for whatever reason, you lost Beginning it. Search. I'm still missing Autumn Leaf Cutter. That had had a delay in it, too. That thing was amazing. Okay. Yeah, so basically the same thing as in Cold Steel 2. Whenever you see obstacles in the field, you switch over to a different party member and uh, they use their attack and you'll yeah. be able to <laughs> bash it to smithereens. <laughs> Glad I have you here. Huh, these shutters, we can't Crap. get through shutters. them. Right, a yeah. A few of them, actually. And try and find a way to roll them back up. I shall go. Okay, gotta roll back up the shutters. Let's see. There. Bam! Treasure located. Ooh, airstrike one. Uh, let's see. I think that my, all of my orbits and quartz, like, they're full. Um, oh, this is Milliam. I can't change her anyway. Oh, all you have is Silver Thorn to confuse. That's, oh, this break thing is kind of nice. Maybe I'll give that to her. Oh, this action. I bought that one too as well. I haven't equipped any of this stuff. Um, hmm, I have some decent stuff here, I've got to say. Let's give her break. Uh, let's see. Let's take off this and I'll give you action. Oh, strength plus six. Um, but this has extra delay. Yeah, let's let's do this in P because I like the delay too. Okay, so we got that taken care of, and let's continue on our way. I could probably sell some of that quartz that I'll never use, like the HP plus and things like that that I just think is completely useless. But whatever. There. Let's see. Blast this gown. There's nothing there, but what do we oh have? Oh boy, here? it's a treasure chest! It's a treasure chest! This will be Silver earring! And it got triple advantage by using an R2 attack. Let's try this Gale and get all three of them. Gale. Love the AT delay! Now. Oh, I got him broken too! <laughs> Bam! I should just be able to one shot them at this point if they're all yeah. broken. Sweet! An opening! Yeah, there's it's no my turn. there's no need to um, waste any CP or anything if they're all Everyone okay? Broken. All right, got it. Stats updated. Hey, awesome. And that accessory. Let's see what we got going on here. The silver earring. Eh, prevents poison. Whatever. Okay. Moving right along. Let's see. Avoid those guys. Nothing there. there. Charge complete. And continue on our way. Oh, I didn't see this monster just two seconds ago. Yikes! But they see me! Let's do it, honey. Lots of them, too. Let's look at our orders. We got Evan Crest, Absolute Reflect, and some, some uh, damage reduction. So they're all both um, reducing damage that I don't care about. Um, let's see. Maybe Gale again? I mean, it hits. Yeah, it hits so many things. It does cost a ton of CP to use, though, but man, that was great. Uh, what do you have? Is it only the. Oh, it is. It's just the two of them left. Get lasered! Bam! Got him! Perfect. An opening! 
My turn. And for flying enemies, our accuracy is decently good. Oh, no wonder we needed my that turn. poison resistant accessory. There. Really, seriously. So much for the accuracy. Ah, I don't want to waste the CP. Just yeah. kill this guy. There we go. That's what I want. Everyone okay? Uh, they seem to be doing pretty fine. Oh, look at Millium to look at the bright side of things. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they're model numbers. Black Rabbit, Altina, model name OZ74, commencing operation. Whoa, crazy! Yours is just one off mine! Let's do this, Lammy! Milliam, Altina, I've known you two for a while now, and I think I was always aware of it to some extent. Huh? Instructor Reen? I know both of you came from the mysterious Black Workshop. Then, your memories of your time there were erased, and you were handed over to the Intelligence Division. I also know you somehow have the ability to synchronize with a combat shell. <laughs> and that we're technically not human? <sighs> Although he did not outright state it, he alluded to it multiple times. Indeed, we are homunculi, artificially created beings. Biologically speaking, we're pretty much the same as normal humans, you know? Hmm. But then, that doesn't explain why I haven't grown at all lately. Agreed. However, I believe I still have the potential to grow taller. Oh yeah? Well, I'm not gonna lose to you, Pipsqueak. I've known in the back of my mind for a while, and I've heard things here and there from each of them. The Black Workshop. The group that betrayed the society and was taken in by him at the end of the Civil War. I tried to investigate it during all the missions the government had me go on, but I always came up empty-handed. These two have had their memories of their time there erased, and even Major Lecter doesn't know anything about it. Why in the world did they create Milliam and Altina? Hello? Milliam Doreen? Come in, Doreen! Come on! What are you zoning out for? Are you feeling unwell? If so, we should take a short break. Oh, don't worry. I'm fine. Milliam, Altina, no matter what else happens, you're both still you. Hmm? <laughs> well, yeah, duh. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything you need to thank me for. If we loiter here too much longer, it will affect the test results. If there are no problems, let us continue onward. Yeah, you're right. Alrighty then! Let's go, go, go! You know, Reen actually had a really good question there. Who created them and why? What's going on with them? And can we get out of this place? Find out next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.